Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Aydin Nasserifar. In this video, we are taking a look at the integrities May XSS challenge by Piyush de Paul. Let's hop over to the screen and get to the challenge. This is the main page that explains all of the rules. The solution should work on the latest version of Chrome and Firefox should execute alert document the domain, should leverage a cross-site scripting vulnerability on this domain, shouldn't be self-XSS or related to MITM attacks, should not require any kind of user interaction, there should be a URL that when visited will present the victim with a pop-up. I'm going to open up the challenge link and let's go ahead. Uh, let's poke around the website, go to home page, products page, and content page. I noticed that while browsing the website, there is a query get parameter uh, that have different values. Let's put something here and nothing happens. I want to know that what is going on in the browser. Let's find out by opening the inspect element tools. We have a script here. Let's copy that and paste it using Sublime. Uh, we have pages being defined as a object contains four pages home products contact and page number four a parameter uh, PL is created by the get parameter page. If page PL is available, uh, we are going to set the inner HTML attribute uh, of the root element to that page and then we add page 4. Uh, page 4 is a static HTML and then we add page PL. PL is a get parameter uh, but page object contains a static HTML. Also uh, it uses the filter XSS to filter out our XSS payloads, else we direct the user to the page number one. Okay, there is nothing to do here. Let's look for source. We have a uh, more script here it says jQuery dot query query string modification and creation for jQuery written by Blair Mitchell Moore uh, version 2.2.3 let's search for jQuery dot query version 2.2.3 vulnerabilities And we find something interesting here. It is vulnerable to cross-site scripting, uh, cross-site scripting and prototype pollution. Okay. If you don't know what is prototype pollution, you can watch my previous videos about that on my YouTube channel. But 
I will give a small explanation here. What is prototype pollution? It is about polluting the prototype of a base object which can allow us to modify any existing object uh, to get RCE, XSS or SQL injection. In JavaScript, any array is a base object. These base objects uh, have a property which is constructor and inside of this is prototype. Uh, if someone can edit this property, any array would be affected. So, how can we exploit this vulnerability? Query dot query version two point two point three prototype pollution GitHub. I try to search in uh, Google and I found this great repository by Blackfang. jQuery query dash object plugin. What's the POC? Uh, we just set the get parameter. We have uh, the underscore underscore proto object and it has a property test. Let's copy the payload and paste it here. And press enter. Let's look for source console. As you can see, our injected payload becomes a property of the page object. Okay, let's call it uh, with the page parameter page equals test as you can see our injected payload reflect on the page the test element doesn't exist so it is going to check uh, in the array uh, is that value uh, present then it is going to check in the prototype does prototype have an implementation for test element uh, of the array and we have done prototype pollution let's try to put a simple XSS payload here image SRC our source is going to be non-existent trigger in and on error because and over an error is going to be an alert of document the domain let's copy the payload and paste it here oh our payload uh, is sanitized using the filter XSS from the JS XSS As you can see, uh, there is a filter XSS method here and look for source code JS XSS search for filter XSS and as you can see uh, our payload is sanitized using 
the filter XSS from X, the JS uh, dash XSS before injected into the DOM. Okay, how can I bypass this? We need uh, to find script gadgets to achieve an XSS. Uh, I try to use this amazing repository by Blackfan. Go to gadgets and find JS XSS. Okay, this is the POC. We need to use prototype pollution payload once more. Let's copy the payload and paste it here. Okay, let's copy the payload and Paste it here. What happened? Oh, uh, let's check it again. Underscore proto. Yeah. It's correct. Oh, it should be and uh, okay. And page equals test. And our payload is sanitized using uh, the filter XSS from JS XSS. Okay, try to URL encode our XSS payload. URL encode. And copy the value, paste it here. Let's try one more time. Hurry up. Oh, and we do get an alert. Let's check it on Chrome according to the rules. And works on both Chrome and Firefox. Thanks for watching this video according to YouTube algorithm. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment if you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video. Take care.